Tonight, a woman is telling her story after she says she escaped a man who grabbed and assaulted her on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. She says it happened this morning, and now she's worried about the trail's security and women's safety. Peyton Furtado is in the studio with more. Peyton. Yeah, Sydney, Leela Jones says she's always felt safe on the trail, but this morning, everything changed. So this is almost exactly where it happened. Oh, it was so scary. Leela Jones is an avid runner, but this morning she ran for her life. It was horrible. The Greenville native runs the trail between the Kane Halter YMCA and Cleveland Park nearly every morning around 530. She's training for a marathon. It's a dark stretch of nearly two miles. Jones emailed the city of Greenville about months before this, asking for lighting to be put in. As she rounded a corner Wednesday, she saw a man with a buzzed haircut, tall, thin, sitting on a bench, smoking and holding his bike. By then, I was a mile from here and a mile from my home. So I was stuck either way. There was no safe way to go. He watched as she stared ahead, making her way to the nearest lit area, Cleveland Park. So I turned my volume down and I sprinted, essentially. Um, and he followed on the bike and he passed me. And then I thought he was gone. So I turned my the light on on my phone just because I was so scared. He just came out and grabbed me. Uh, and I just, I mean, I yelled bloody murder. Jones said that bought her enough time to run and call for help. With no lights or emergency blue light boxes on stretches of the trail, she says it could have been a lot worse. Things like lights, I really do think would deter people from doing things like that because I don't think he would have done that in the light of day. She says she'll have to figure out another way to train for her marathon. She doubts she'll ever feel safe on the trail again. Women deserve it as just as much as men and anyone else. Um, and it, this has forever changed my perspective. I mean, when I see a woman on the trail, I will be scared for them. Mm -hmm. And that's so sad. A Greenville City spokesperson told us the trail hours are from dawn to dusk and this portion is on private property that can flood. The city would need to review if lighting is even possible, they said. Greenville County Sheriff's Office and Greenville Police both confirmed officers patrol the trail during daylight hours.